Hey guys, it's Lance at McVee Audio, and today I want to go over your options of upgrading to Pro Tools 12. There's been a fair amount of confusion on the forums, um, so I just thought we'd go over the different options step by step. It might answer some people's questions about the upgrade plans and the support plans. So let's just jump over to the Avid website. I'll go through everything they've got listed on there, and uh, hopefully we'll make some sense out of all of this. Okay, so Pro Tools 12 is here. Let's look at our options. Option number one is to buy Pro Tools 12, a perpetual license, which means you own the software and you get a one-year upgrade plan, um, which includes a year of free updates, whatever updates come out during the year of your plan, and you get tech support. You get 12 calls, one per month, into tech support during the year, and you have unlimited online tech support Monday through Friday. So your next option, option number two, is to rent Pro Tools. You do not have to have a past version of Pro Tools to do this. So this is again standard Pro Tools, not Pro Tools HD. So as you can see here, for $24.92, you can rent Pro Tools on a monthly basis. And this is a one-year commitment. You will be billed $24.92 each month for a year. And the price below that, $29.99, you can just rent Pro Tools 12 on a monthly plan. You get the same standard support, but you can not have it one month, have it the next month, not have it one month, have it the next month. So you can just pay as you go. But you do not own the software like you do in option number one. With both of these options, you are renting the software. It's either renting it for a year or renting it for a month. Okay, so option number four, if you are already a Pro Tools user, Pro Tools 9, 10, or 11, you can choose the upgrade plan, which is cheaper than renting for a year or renting for a month because you've already bought Pro Tools in the past, so they're giving you a break here, and you pay $200 for the year. You get the same standard tech support as you do in the other two plans. So Pro Tools 12 upgrade plan includes the following systems. Okay, so the final option is for Pro Tools HD users. If you have Pro Tools 9, 10, or 11 HD, you can upgrade to Pro Tools 12 HD for $5.99 a year. This upgrade option also includes people with Pro Tools 9 or 10 with the complete production toolkit. This includes the Expert Plus support, which is above the standard support, gives you unlimited calls to tech support. Okay, so a whole day went by. I just got off the phone with Sweetwater Sound, an avid authorized dealer, and I had a few questions before I wanted to put this video to bed. Question number one, how long do I have being an HD 11 and 10 owner to upgrade to the new $600 a year plan? And he said that I had till December 31st, 2015. Okay, so I got time to think about it. Question number two, once I do buy into the plan, what happens if I let the plan run out? Do I no longer get to use Pro Tools 12 HD? Is, is it a subscription? He says, no, you will still, whatever version you were updated to within your plan, you will still get to use when your plan runs out. You just won't get any more updates and you won't get any more tech support. Now that I could not really get the answer to that on Avid's website. So that's also great to know. You're not renting it in other words, you own it. Um, sorry about the dog next door. Okay, and the final question I had was what happens if you let the, the plan lapse? and uh, you skip two months after its renewal time. Uh, he said you probably will have to buy back into Pro Tools HD. And I'm like, well, how does that work? The only way to get Pro Tools HD is to buy a system. You have to buy Avid hardware to even get Pro Tools HD software. So they're not gonna make you go buy another HDX system or another native system but they're probably gonna charge you more money than if you had not let any time lapse between your plans. Or they're just gonna say, fine, you know, $600, anytime you wanna start paying again, you're back on the upgrade path. So if anyone has the answer to that question, please feel free to write it on a post on my video page.
Okay, now for my two cents on this whole subscription-based plan. I don't like it. A lot of other people don't like it either. I mean, the reality is, is I could see the $200 for regular Pro Tools for all the other users out there, but when it comes, and the subscription model, sure, it's cool, you can just rent it and use it and then not rent it and then rent it and use it or pay $200 a year and get tech support, get the, but the reality is, is HD users, the people who spend big piles of money to buy your hardware, they should get Pro Tools HD for free. You can't use Pro Tools HD unless you buy Abbott. I mean, you don't get it unless you buy your hardware. So why be such a stick in the mud about upgrades? People are spending $10,000, $20,000 for multi-card systems. That must be the Avid siren going off. Get him, kill him. He does not like our plan. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully this answered some of your questions about upgrading to Pro Tools 12. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time.